NASA they have developed nine point scale. At every scale, they are finally available at the hand of the users. Here comes the technology transfer. Once someone has developed the technology, so it needs to be transferred so that we can develop the same technology. But here comes the challenge. In the way back when the Maruti Suzuki was introduced in India, the technology they were ready to transfer, but we are not in a position to absorb that technology because we are not ready. So for the transfer of technology, the recipient country must be technological at that level to accept it, decipher it and implement it. So this is the challenge of technology transfer. So I may be ready, but the other part all of us know, so we have nothing to introduce about that. And with this, I hand over the session to the speaker of the day. Uh, how is he going to speak from here? Yeah, I think it's better. Okay. Uh, Okay, before that, I'll request your TPSA to kindly introduce this topic later on because I'm not an expert, I'm an HR expert primarily, and it's true that I go to many colleges, many places for a talk or discussion uh, on HR related topics, on uh, industry, academia, practices, which is very, very important for continuous development of students. At this juncture, uh, where the entire world is moving on technology, so technology is really play, playing a very important role in all the spheres of our life. And it's the speed of technology is so fast that if you do not able to adopt or if you do not able to change in time, we are going to again. Uh, deprived ourselves to take the opportunity and survive in the long run. Many a company, so like you see in the mobile, Samsung, Apple, they are coming after one, after two, uh, Samsung, uh, iPhone 2, iPhone 3, iPhone 4, iPhone 5. So you can find how they are changing with the market requirements. Samsung is also a company which is in the same talk about our IT businesses. So to understand and to grow with the market, we have also diversified ourselves. So I'll just tell you a story about uh, to make you more connected. Uh, there are two woodcutters. So they had a competition. So they decided to finish a forest and they uh, among us themselves they wanted to have a competition who will first cut the forest, half part of <coughs> given to one person, half part taken by other. So in between the one person, after one hour he is taking some rest and coming back. And after, again, but the other person is continuously cutting the forest. After one, uh, one hour, one person taking rest and uh, coming after some time. But the other person is continuously cutting. The other person is in after one hour is going and taking rest and coming back. So this is going on. Now as per you management software, uh, we have a document management system uh, which is very famous uh, in, in Saudi and Middle East. Because if you go to Middle East, most of the hospitals and everything is using our uh, you know document management system. Their entire patient data are being stored in our document management system. Uh, we have uh, other, we have a ERP system for schools and colleges, uh, which is an LMS portal, learning management software portal. So this is one division. One division is a service division which caters 100% to the uh, you know international business and to the government sector. And the third division is a system integration division that we have, which uh, deals with you know uh, data center. So we, we need a data center you know set up for a lot of companies. Uh, we are in networking uh, for a lot of companies, we are in a telephony and IP telephones for a lot of companies, so we, we do that for them as well. So uh, this is a background for the Sham Future Day. Uh, coming back to this topic, you know, uh, what I was saying that I was feeling very nostalgic because I, when I was a student, you know, I was, I was talking to Sribelshi, I was listening to so much of talk shows, you know, uh, they were coming and they were giving us, but what actually they never told us, you know, like after this college, how to grow in the career. Everybody said, you know, if you are a good student, 
you will do good. If you are a good coder, you will do very good in life. If you are this, you will do very good. Sab mein very good hona hai, tab jake very good hona hai. The results, you know, if you are very good in everything, the results will always be good. Right, lekin but wa to mediocre students bhi hai, baaki loon bhi hai, un loon ka kya future nahi hai. Right, and this what I am saying is from my experience, you know, ki when, when, when you go to the corporate world, when you start working, right, it's not the skills that you have that matters, you know, apart from the skills, there are a lot of stuff that is matters. Previously, when you grow up, you know, when we were a kid, when you grow up, there are only two types of genre we used to find out. There are doctors and engineers, right? In today's world, engineers are the most successful entrepreneurs. You name any of the startup businesses that has been formed, there is an engineer brain behind it. Right? If you name anyone, you know, starting from anything, you will find an engineering mind, a guy from IIT or a guy from engineering, you know, a guy who is a good coder who actually uh, solved a lot of problems. You know, so that happened. So if you just decode it, you will find out, you know, ki, uh, why engineers become very good entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurs does not mean you have to start a business, you have to start a startup. Even if you're doing a you know, work, if you're doing a job in a company, a nine to five job, and if you have that entrepreneur mindset, you know, you will always grow in that company. You will always grow. No matter what comes in your way, no matter what happens to you, you just have to have that mindset and you know that will always help you to go. Right? You have to take that ownership, you have to take the entrepreneurship. Like Sribhan, you told me about the woodpecker. It's definitely you have to always keep sharpening your saw because the industry that we are in, what we know today, becomes obsolete tomorrow. But it's very important, guys, you know, that we have to have that entrepreneurship, we have to have the leadership skill in your mind. So why the engineers are, are the successful entrepreneurs? I, let it be an interactive station, you know, tell me. Uh, you know, let's find out 10 reasons why they are. Any one reason from them, from any one of you? You know, when you're going to be joining any technology company or any company, there are a lot of startups that will come up to you with a lot of ideas. Right? At the moment, we are developing a mobile app. I'm just saying an example. We are developing a mobile app which is on a wearable device. Wearable device, you know? Right? Uh, like Apple iPhone, watch we wear. The Android, watch we have. So, uh, what will happen is that, you know, if you're talking anyone over the phone and you have a very heated argument, it will measure your blood pressure, it will measure your heart rate. So at a certain point of time when the conversation is becoming very stressful for you, the calls will automatically get disconnected. Okay, so there are a lot of, I'm giving you examples because there are a lot of ideas people will come up. This is a good idea or not. You are talking to someone, you know, and uh, the conversation is getting, getting very heated. So it will automatically, uh, it will take your pulse rate, it will understand, you know, your pulse rate is going high and it will send a message to your phone and it will disconnect the call. Obviously, you have to have a smartwatch for it, and you have to have a smartphone for it to, to remain on that way. But so, so when we will be talking, you know, we'll be we'll be talking about a lot of guys, you know, we'll be talking about a lot of entrepreneurs will come up with a lot of ideas. Uh, you know, some of the ideas will fail, some of the ideas will grow, right? So you always have to be very innovative with them. You have to have, always have to find out the innovation. See, in in today's world, in IT industry or any industry. If you just, apart from the manufacturing industry, because that's a different story, that's a bulk game, right? So, uh, that's the other part of the story, but if you're in the 